Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. Nicole Keith. She's president of the American College of Sports Medicine, a professor of kinesiology at Indiana University, Purdue University in Indianapolis. She's also a research scientist at Indiana University Center for Aging Research, where she focuses on healthy aging, physical activity, and healthy outcomes. Thank you so much for being with us here today. I'd love to kind of just start out by having you tell us about yourself and what sparked your interest in health and medicine. Sure, so I... I I was born in Chicago, Illinois, and my parents very quickly moved to Grand Rapids, Michigan. And um, as a young girl, we'd go back and visit both of their families in Chicago. And uh, they were strikingly poor to me, even as a child. And um, I noticed how different my parents were than uh, their brothers and sisters and my cousins. And it occurred to me as I got older that it was kind of education and income, as well as healthy living, that helped people change regardless of their genetics. And um, that's where I started on this healthy lifestyle quest to learn how to help people who may not have education and resources still live a healthy lifestyle. One final question, which is, you know, what advice do you have for a lot of rising students? You know, right now in our audience, we have tons of, of, of uh, physical therapy students, um, occupational health students, medical students, nursing students, you name it. And they're going into the healthcare workforce. You, you said a lot of really helpful stuff. Uh, do you mind just giving kind of what you would say to them in terms of advice? And also just mention that website and spell it out just because I want to make sure they can get to it. Right. So the website is exercisesmadison.org. And what I would say to all of those kinds of students that you just mentioned is congratulations. That's the first thing because not only did you graduate. So if you're in an undergraduate program, congratulations, you graduated from high school you got accepted into college and you're matriculating. Um, there are very few people in the world who get to that place. If you're going on to professional school or to medical school, you're amazing that you got in and that you were able to matriculate to this point um, makes you an amazing person. And everybody whose lives you've touched, they're all so proud of you because it's really an amazing accomplishment. And then I would say, take care of yourself. It's a really stressful time but you have to look back and say, I'm great, I'm doing this and that makes me great already, that I'm really smart and that I have the opportunity to change the world, to change my little piece of the world and give yourself a break. Don't be so hard on yourself. You will stumble, all of us stumble. You will change your mind and that's okay. You have to follow your dreams. Again, congratulations because what you're doing already is fantastic. Thanks for watching this preview of Raise the Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.